the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And the speed of light in glass is this, 2 times 10 to the 8. A ray of monochromatic light in glass strikes the glass air boundary at an angle of 80 degrees to the boundary. And then we're trying to work out the angle made to the normal by the ray leaving the boundary. All right, so we are going to be using Snell's law for this equation, which is n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. To use this equation, we have to know the angle of incidence as well as the refractive indices. The equation for refractive index is n is equal to c of v, where c is the speed of light in a vacuum or in air, they're very similar, and v is the speed of light in the medium. So the refractive index of air, let's call that n2, the refractive index of air would just be 1. It's pretty much the same as the refractive index of a vacuum. The refractive index of glass, we'll call that n1, that would be equal to the speed of light in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8, divided by the speed of light in that particular medium, which is 2 times 10 to the 8. So that will be 1.5 or 3 over 2. So this is something that a lot of students make a mistake on. The angle of incidence is always the angle to the normal. We're given the angle to the boundary. We want the angle to the normal. So that will be this angle here. This would be theta 1. And by looking at the diagram, knowing that this is 90 degrees, theta 1 must then be 10. OK, so let's put this into our equation. Our equation then becomes 3 over 2 times sine theta 1, which is 10, is equal to n2, which is 1, sine theta 2. So sine theta 2 is equal to 1.5 sine 10, which is 0 0.2604, etc. Not rounded. That's sine theta 2. And then do inverse sine of that. So I've got that number saved in my calculator. Inverse sine of that, theta 2 would then be 15.1 degrees. So that would be B.